for every problem, there is always a solution. And one of the solutions, one of the, the, the mitigating um, options that we will we'll inform government, we'll share with government, is that look, we canvas for removal of substance. We also canvas for the rehabilitation, quick rehabilitation and transparent privatization of those refineries. Now, within the context of the challenges currently, we've asked government. Now, the cost of input definitely will increase. There will be a spike in inflation. But to help organize business, we currently pay over 60 different taxes, levies, and fees across the three strata of government. Recently, just two months ago, there is a new, a new, uh, an increase in excise duty and the introduction of new taxes. There is about 21, 22 bills lying at the National Assembly, which also, which also seeks to compel employers to pay 0.5%, 1% of their profit after tax. This is our procedure. You need to create a platform, an environment that will enable the organized businesses to be sustainable. If you remove price subsidy in the immediate, let's look for palliatives, taxes that we can remove. How do we make business environment more conducive so that businesses can continue to try? If we don't do that, we run the risk of continuous inflation, the prices of products and services of organized businesses will continue to spike because of the cost of input. So even if you deal with the demand side, you increase salaries, you increase wages, those wages will still meet increased cost of goods and services, which will negate or neutralize whatever increase in wage that you give. For the full interview with Mr. Oyerinde, do watch Newsnight tomorrow at 9 p.m. here on Channels Television.